Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Wednesday night, and we begin with that deadly explosion at a school in Minneapolis, ripping it in half, trapping people inside. Contractors were working on the gas lines at the time. The blast near a central stairwell that connects all areas of the building. Summer programs were underway. Children, teachers, and staff were inside. Rescue crews immediately began searching through the rubble. And tonight, there is word coming in now, the name of the first victim. ABC's Alex Perez on the scene for us in Minneapolis. Tonight, a huge section of this private school in Minneapolis reduced to a pile of rubble. We have windows that were blown out, flames and fire, and a building collapsed as well. Around 10.20 this morning, school administrators and several students inside Minnehaha Academy, basketball and cross-country practice just wrapping up when suddenly a massive explosion entirely guts the middle of the school building. There was a huge explosion. Uh, smoke went up, knocked most of us kind of back, and it knocked me off my feet and kind of fell back. The blast, officials say, triggered when a crew accidentally pierced the gas line. Hey, you know, we're smelling gas, we need everybody out, and it was literally seconds after that that there was a big explosion. First responders rushing in, searching for survivors, a school custodian still missing. Crews are uh, working on extinguishing the fire at this time and also searching for unaccounted people who may be trapped under the collapse. Outside, horrified parents waiting for any word on their kids inside. Another school janitor surviving the ordeal, his head bandaged, reuniting with his wife. Nine adults rushed to the hospital. The school receptionist, Ruth Berg, killed in the explosion. Her fiancé says their wedding invitations came in the mail yesterday. This school is beloved. The people there are beloved. And this is a big loss for the city today. Just a horrific loss. Alex Perez joins us live outside that school in Minneapolis. And Alex, first responders remain on the scene at this hour. That's right, David. Authorities say they are working to make the scene as safe as possible for investigators. Tonight, we are also learning that receptionist who was killed worked at the school for 17 years. Officials say she always greeted everyone with a smile and that she will be missed. David? Alex Perez leading us off tonight. Alex, thank you.